Hey folks, this is Yash and in this video I'm going to show you how you can host your API documentation in Postman in less than 5 minutes. Um, so this is the type of documentation or this is the documentation you will be able to uh, have online by the end of this uh, session itself. In case you want to see how to create collections, APIs, please head to the link in the description. Anyway, so this is how, this is, these are the two APIs that I'm going to be hosting on the API documentation. There are two APIs. Firstly, there is a collection and then there are APIs. Just to segment or align it better, I'm just gonna create two more folders so that it's more organized. One of the APIs will be, one of the folder will have authorization, authentication based APIs and the other one will have not authentication. So now that I've structured it well, I want to host it on the website itself or on a link itself so that people who want to access my documentation can access my doc, uh, API documentation use it, uh, using that link. You can see that everything is configured. These APIs are working. So I'm going to run this and see and see it's working. Let's save this as a sample. So when someone wants to see what is the kind of response they will receive from our API, they can use this sample and uh, see what is the kind of output they'll get. All right. So now that we have organized, we have two APIs, two folders and one sample for the user to see. Let's try and um, let's try and build the documentation itself so head to the uh, documentation button that I had clicked and add some details about the API so for this specific API because this allows you to get location from the latitude longitude oh oops, I think there's a spelling mistake in latitude let me correct that anyways so this is uh, the API that allows you to get location from latitude longitude just a basic detail it will have bunch of other things like what parameters it accepts. So that's something that will be uh, automatically detected by Postman. Let's add details for this one. And these details will be visible in the documentation when the user is reading through your documentation. So this, allow this API allows you to get random facts. All right, now that that's configured, Let's head to the collection itself and see if we can add some details for the collection as well. You can view the complete documentation by clicking on the link, but first let's add some description. This is a sample API documentation for YouTube. All right, let's save this and see our complete documentation now. You can see that there are folders. Uh, so this is the sample documentation. This is how it's gonna uh, you know structure itself when we publish it let's click on publish button it takes you to a, a postman link where you have to do some sort of basic configuration before you take this live you can preview this upfront in order to show everything is okay with respect to the structure itself you can s change certain uh, details like layout, language. You can see that the structure is okay where there's an introduction, authorization, APIs, and then non-authorization and API. You can also see that the example that we had added is now uh, visible. This is the same example. All right, now that's done. Let's head down and uh, make some basic walkthrough. So in custom domain you are, uh, section, you can actually add the URL you want to host. So if, for example, if there is a URL that you want to host, you can use that. Let's publish that and use the sample URL or the URL given to us by Postman. And voila, that's it. This is all you need to do in order to get the uh, details or your API documentation on the cloud. It took us less than five minutes to do this. Now let's try a bunch of other details. So for example, if you want to make any changes in the documentation itself, how do you do that? And this is more of a bonus from my side. Let's add certain details to see how long it takes to update. Uh, I've added these details, save it and refresh the same link. There you go. It, it's, it, it immediately update on the documentation. So bear in mind any change that you make, to the original documentation will be reflected here. Now, if you want to unpublish the documentation, you just click on the unpublish button where you can go from again, the same location that you had come in to publish, click on edit publish documentation. 
it will redirect you to the same link and you click on unpublish now the now when someone tries to access your documentation it should show 404 let's try to refresh there you go you can follow the same steps if you want to publish again click here edit publish documentation and then you do the same set of changes and you click on publish so the next time user uh, refreshes that link you should be able to see the details here all right so that's more or less it uh, just bear in mind that the api tokens that you use in variable will be visible here so it's Im imperative that you don't give out critical information anyways thanks so much have a good day subscribe if you like this video